I am further exploring the concept that a person can be Jewish without actually being Jewish. Now, I made a video pretty recently. It was called, Are Some Christians Actually More Jewish Than Some Jewish People? So if you haven't watched that video, you can see where I'm coming from on that. But of course, we all know that there's the Jewish religion, there's, there's Judaism, but it also tends to be attached with people who have a certain ethnic background going ultimately, anciently, back to the Middle East, Israel, etc. We know that. But yes, a person who does not have that ethnic background can still become Jewish. Now, it's interesting when you're like me and my mother's DNA test showed, what was it, 15.2% uh, Sephardic Jewish. And that only confirmed what we always knew. And that's really what this video is talking more about. That even if the rest of the world wouldn't see you as Jewish, you may even be more Jewish in theory than people who the rest of the world would see as Jewish. Let's check out a few comments here because this really puts it in perspective. There's two comments I really want to look at specifically. First is from Adrian S. Here's what uh, she had to say. Quote, I think I have told you this before, but you really do sound like a typically Jewish guy. You also like to question yourself and have curiosity, which is very typically Jewish. You do not accept matters at face value. You always look beyond and try to find out more. You overthink things. Jewish. You are somewhat obsessive about stuff. Jewish. You changed your diet to fit with your genealogy and ancestry without knowing about it. I really suggest at this point you owe yourself a visit to Israel and take your mother too. Good luck. End quote. I think that's very well, very well said. And that is some, well, that's just your personality. It's just your personality. I mean, I've, I've recently made a video talking about how as an American, I question that our, that our military is fighting for our freedom. We're told that, but what if we're fighting for America's politics? What if that's a way that we culturally colonize the rest of the world? I question things like that. Are we fighting for freedom? Or are we fighting for politics? And we're sending our people, our equipment, our weapons, and billions of dollars overseas to do that. I question that, but a lot of people, no. America, we're fighting for our freedom. So that's what we, ever since 9-11, especially fighting for our freedom. And yes, the whole thing with Vietnam War, 9-11 eh, happened now, so we're fighting for our freedom. See, I question that. And for me, that's not even a political discussion. That's not me being Republican or Democrat, because I'm not, I'm a libertarian, which maybe in theory is only going back to the concept that I question things. I question the bipartisan system we've got here in the United States, where we're basically forced to fight, to, to vote for one extreme or the other, and ultimately, they're being paid off by lobbyists anyway. So, okay, yeah, I agree that really matches up to who I am. And, but what if, what if I learned that from my mother, not realizing it, and she learned that from her father? What if I didn't realize she taught me that, but in some ways, somehow she did. She taught me to be okay with not being like everybody else. And that's always been a part of my identity. Peer pressure was never an issue for me. I never cared about fitting in. In fact, my identity was, I was proud to stand out. Whatever way I stood out, I was proud to do that. That's, that was part of my identity. So, it's funny how I learn about myself from random people on the internet. I would like to think in some ways I'm doing the same for, for you watching my videos. Uh, I'm gonna check out this other comment. I believe this guy said, I, he's been watching my video for, Fan Om Omri, I believe he is Jewish as well, or at least ethnically Jewish. Here's what he says, quote, depends on what you mean. Genetically, yes, some Jews are from more recently, uh, recently converted to Judaism, and some Christians were Jews who converted away or married out, and somehow most of the uh, profile just remained. But honestly, the genetic element is more of a backup. The ger is Jewish, end of discussion, G-E-R. Think of Judaism as a nationality that is separate but can overlap Israeli citizenship, which is what I do. That's how I perceive it. You can be an equal Israeli citizen while not being Jewish. And I'm very aware of that. In my mind, Israel is like a third Christian, a third Jewish, and a third Muslim. I could be way off, but in my mind, that's how it is. 
Uh, all right, he goes on to say, you can be Jewish and not only Israeli, but actively hostile toward Israel. To become American among the many steps is learning all about American history and law. Same for Judaism. Now, do you mean behaviorally? Depends. What do you call Jewish behavior? Do you bless every action of your day? Honestly, I do. I mean, but that's from the Christian faith and that's to pray without ceasing. And yes, we do pray before our meals. I do pray before I go to work. I'm praying all day for myself and my family. So, okay. Even in the name of Christianity there, yes, I do. Uh, next, uh, do you eat lots of bagels? My family does eat a lot of, we always have bagels in our refrigerator. Uh, my kids and my wife eat them more than I do. Um, but yeah, bagels are a big part of our diet. I cannot deny that. I would much rather eat a bagel than any kind of other bread. So, okay, you got me there. So you question everything and try to understand. Yes, I do. I don't question things for the sake of complaining, never for the sake of complaining, but because I think, is there a better way? Is there something we're missing out on that we're not aware of that we could change? For example, I had dyshydrotic eczema. It's, a, it's an incurable skin condition uh, in which uh, these blisters form on your hand, then they pop, then they dry, and it gets to the point where you can barely use your hands anymore. It, it's, it's incurable. Look it up, dyshydrotic eczema. There's no cure for it. I used to have it and I don't have it anymore. Again, I changed my diet uh, to be in line with, with kosher law. Specifically years later, after being a vegan for five and a half years and vegetarian for seven, I always learned that the main thing really uh, there was the issue was specifically tuna. Yes, you know, shellfish was a problem, but tuna specifically really set it off and having too much sugar. So I, I questioned when I heard that there's no cure for this thing. Oh, I can find a cure. And I changed my life accordingly and it happened to lead me to kosher law. All right, a little bit more left here. Uh, it says, so, so you question everything and try to understand, yes. The last one uh, considered by many Jews is to be a Jewish quality. I personally find it quite common enough outside the Jew, uh, Jewish people and not enough amongst Jews I know. So what is the definition? So yeah, that's the question. I'm ending this video with that. Is it this concept that you can ultimately accidentally become more Jewish than you already were to begin with? Or maybe you have no G Jewish DNA but you stumble into it anyway, but I'd say not so much. I say that that seed is there. That hidden culture is there. And while it may not present itself for everyone, I believe there are certain maybe chosen people that can't escape it, like this guy right here. But what do you believe? Comments right here.